<laughs> far.
Hey, what are you doing? Looking for food, eh?
everybody thanks for watching that video <laughs> my eyes are full of sawdust despite the fact that I was wearing safety glasses while I was working above my head all the sawdust dirt snow whatever that was on the boards <laughs> as I would put it up there it would dump in behind the glasses and into my eyes so they're just full right now I'm gonna have to use a water bottle and spray them flush them out anyway the uh, ceiling is half done so completely boarded from that side up to the center beam there and now um, tomorrow I'll start I think I'll start on the high section actually and work down to the low section so be difficult down to easy easier I've got half a gable there half a gable there to board as well and then I'm going to seal all this up trim off the um, paper barrier and start chinking so I'll chink the logs, all of the, all of these gaps. Actually, you think, you know, before that, I'm going to trim out these windows. So bring some framing out. Some, um, I forget what that's called, and then trim around the outside, and then I can seal that. And as I'm chinking, I can caulk and all of that as well. Seal that all up. So one, two, three four or five windows in this section now uh, that temporary window I can frame that out because that'll be cut into a door when the bedrooms built but the frame itself will continue to exist like it is what what else that's that'll button up this part of the cabin um, I'll frame out that door actually as well actually that door as well so <laughs> got a lot of trim work to do before I start the chinking so I've probably got two days left on that ceiling, the cable on the ceiling, for sure, two days. And then um, at least a day of trimming all the doors and windows, maybe even two. And then onto the chinking. So it'll be a finished look and then ready to basically move in some furniture. Uh, got that bench sort of roughly done. I'll probably sand it and maybe stain it or clear coat it or something so you don't get splinters sitting on it um, and then build a table uh, while I was up there we had decided that we were going to just put a bed in here for now and not put the bathroom in but while I was up there it's similar to the loft in the old cabin in um, height so about five feet so not quite enough for me to stand up in the center but that's going to extend the loft will extend over to here and then that way so about a quarter of the cabin and that's going to be the ceiling of the bathroom in this corner so I'm thinking instead of doing a temporary bedroom here and then um, once the bedrooms built out there moving that out there and building the washroom I'm thinking just build the washroom and sleep up on top of the ceiling of the bathroom up in the loft it's comfortable enough. I mean, what's better about this one, even though similar setup and the stove being here, half loft, all the heat going up there, uh, we have a good size window right there. So we can just open the window to ventilate and keep it cooler. So I think that's what's gonna happen. That'll allow me to basically finish the interior completely sooner than later, instead of, um, you know, like doing half projects and then having to redo everything in the spring in the summer I think I can finish everything in here completely kitchen table kitchen my cabinetry countertops uh, sink drainage plumbing um, bathroom with the composting toilet and other water plumbing in there and then um, whatever I do to reconfigure this bookshelf there chairs there facing the fire and then the breezeway, board that all up completely, get the stairs into the cellar. So that's a lot of work for the interior yet to do. But it'd be 100% finished. By the time spring rolls around, I can work, you get that kitchen done, hopefully screened in before the bug season starts, and then I can jump right onto the bedroom. Anyway, it seems like a plan. We'll see if it changes. This is just this light up here. I just temporarily put that <laughs> wired. And that's not wired. It's just um, hanging there. I wanted to see what the scale was going to be like with this fixture and 
how low to put it so that I have light for cooking. And I think that's perfect actually. I think it's gonna provide a lot of light and then there's another light on that side. Uh, which you'll have to hang down fairly low in order to get the light past the beam here and shining down on that. Might have to do like a sconce or something or another like task light on that beam shining down onto here. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. Kelly has um, <laughs> been fetching all day, but she's lying on the porch. Let her in, give her some more of that deer meat. So, yeah, next couple of days, that's what I'll do, work in, in here. So I may or may not see me. I'll film obviously some of it, but it's pretty um, tedious, just repetitive stuff. So I'm not sure what I can show you. Uh, maybe I'll go for a walk, take you outside. I'm actually am planning on hunting, so uh, bow hunting for the next couple of days as well in the evenings. So if I uh, have any su success there, I'll show you as well. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you back here at the cabin next time. Take care.